Hi, I'm Joe, and today I got a request to draw a female vampire. It should be fun. Roll the intro. This suggestion comes from Artfully Blind with Diana. I'd like to say thank you to her for the suggestion and let everyone know that I'll have her channel linked in the description. The Female Vampire tending as she does to arise, as part of the vampire myth, from the popularity of Dracula, carries forward not only the archetypes associated with the vampire, but shines a lens into the role of women in literature in the past few centuries. The classic associations of the vampire, corruption and predation, find their role in gender literary criticism as the woman as temptress of Campbell's hero's journey. The associations of Dracula with the incubus leaves Dracula's daughters in the text and female vampires to come to act as the succubi of vampiric myth. This archetype is by definition seductive, scandalous, and predatory. In H.P. Lovecraft's work, we see the character of Nitocris, the ghoul queen, who leads the twisted, foul armies of what lies beneath our feet. From this description, I did take some cues as he described her as having half of her face eaten away while the other half retained the loveliness of life. In Robert E. Howard's Conan stories, we see her counterpart in Akivasha, the ancient Egyptian, or in Conan's work, Stygian, queen who had found the secrets to eternal youth. It seems these days of pulp novels associated these villainous and powerful female archetypes with Egypt, uh, perhaps through the lens of what people remembered of Cleopatra and this idea of an ancient time in which the queens sat as the head of their monarchies. She laughed and shook back her burnished locks, spread her arms sensuously. I am Akivasha. I am the woman who never died, who never grew old, who full say was lifted from the earth by the gods in the full bloom of her youth and beauty, to queen it forevermore in some celestial clime. Nay, it is in the shadows that mortals find immortality. Ten thousand years ago I died to live forever. Give me your lips, strong man. Rising lithely, she came to him, rose on tiptoe and flung her arms about his massive neck. Scowling down into her upturned beautiful countenance, he was aware of a fearful fascination and an icy fear. Love me, she whispered, her head thrown back, eyes closed and lips parted. Give me of your blood to renew my youth and perpetuate my everlasting life. I will make you too immortal. I will teach you the wisdom of all the ages, all the secrets that have lasted out the eons in the blackness beneath these dark temples. I will make you king of that shadowy horde which revels among the tombs of the ancients when night veils the desert and bats flit across the moon. I am weary of priests and magicians and captive girls dragged screaming through the portals of death. I desire a man. Love me, barbarian. She pressed her dark head down against his mighty breast, and he felt a sharp pang at the base of his throat.